What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use another trainer tool, uh, because a lot of people, or I say a lot of people, a couple of people have mentioned in my video on the community trainer that it wasn't loading the games anymore. And although I think that's been fixed now because I have seen a new update uh, from Death or GH, so it'll, it'll probably be fixed anyway, but I thought it would be worthwhile showing you another good trainer tool this one um, has, you know, a good amount of games as well as the, just like the community trainer. Um, and, you know, it has more options for certain games. So some games, you know, the community trainer will be better for. Other games, this trainer will be better for. It just depends. You know, this one might have, say, more mods for God of War than uh, the community trainer. But the community trainer might have some, you know, games that this trainer doesn't have. This trainer might have games that that trainer doesn't have. So... It's worthwhile uh, giving it a shot here. So first things first, I'll put the link in the description. This what this is PS4 Trainer by Tyler Mods. So what you're gonna want to do is just go ahead and, you know, if it comes in a zip file, I believe, just go ahead and extract it uh, into a folder. And really, another update? I swear I just updated this earlier, unless this guy is like literally updating this every five minutes, I don't know. Once you get the tool open and you get it all updated, you're going to want to of course put the IP address of your PS4 into the box up here. So on your PS4 you're going to want to go ahead and head to your settings, go to network and view connection status and your IP address will be the fourth one down, so mine is 192.168.137.198. So 192.168.137.198 and then we're going to go ahead and inject the payload. Now one really good thing about this um, trainer is that it also injects not just the payload required for the RTE connection but it also injects the homebrew enabler as well so you don't have to load that separately uh, which is a really handy feature. So all I have to do is go to the bin loader on um, your webkit exploit. So load up bin loader and then wait for it to say waiting for payload, which it is about to say any second now. There we go. And then click send payload. Uh, whoops, oh yeah, need to select a firmware, that would help. Uh, so if you click these, these, so if you click this button with the three bars and then select your firmware, so mine is 5.05. You notice there's also a 5.05 Mira. I think that is. If you've installed any games using Mira instead of Hen, then you need to um, select Mira. Uh, if you're just using Hen, like me, I just use Hen, I don't use Mira, uh, then you just go ahead and select 5.05 or 4.55 or 4.05, depending on what firmware you're on, and then inject the payload or send payload. So when I click that, you'll see that on the screen it comes up PS4 Trainer by Tyler Mods. And then we get hen loaded as well, which is awesome. So we don't need to load that separately. And then it'll say golden, and then there'll be one final message that'll come up. There we go. And now we can go ahead and press the middle button. Oh yeah, there we go, last one there, enjoy. So now we can go ahead and just load the game. So I'm gonna load God of War, because there is a, uh, a tool in here for God of War. And uh, this is the base version, I don't have any updates installed. I think if even like the the first update or something requires higher than 5.05 anyway, so I think everybody will have to be on 1.00 for God of War. Could be wrong about that though. Not 100% sure. Haven't tried to update it. So down here you can see you've got God of War 4. Quite a few options in here. Uh, actually a hell of a lot of stuff. I didn't expect there'd be this much. So you can mod all of your stats, your XP, your hack silver. Frozen Flame, Alloys, all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see, Infinite Rage, that would be useful. Um, unlimited Health, Unlimited Arrows. I assume that's Atreus Arrows, so you can just spam um, Square and you'll keep firing. It won't, normally it has like three recharges, I think. And then Use slash Sell to gain resources. And resources don't decrease. So yeah. Pretty damn good, actually. Wasn't expecting that much stuff for God of War. Alright, so I'm loading up the game now. Might just skip past this because it can take a little while to load here. Alright, so there we go. So the game is loaded up. So what I'm going to do now is click the attach button. And that's going to attach me to the process. 
there we go, PS4 Trainer by Tyler Mods attached to God of War 4. Um, now you have to be aware of the CUSA number, you can see it says CUSA 07410, so you need to make sure that, you know, if the, if the tool only supports a certain um, title ID, then it's probably not going to work with, you know, the other versions. So, you know, if the tool is designed to work with the US version of the game and you have the European version of the game, it might not work. There might be incompatibility issues there. Um, so it's worth trying anyway, but you may run into that uh, as a potential issue. So anyway, I have the right version on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try like mod some of this stuff. So let's see if I press start, I've got 5,000 hack silver. Um, I've already completed the game, so this is just loading up my completed save. So I'm going to go ahead and set the hack silver to something higher. So let's set it to uh, 99999 set. And if I press start now, there you go, top right hand corner, it's all set. 99999, you could set my XP up higher as well. Let's do that the same, 99999, set XP. And there we go, that's set as well. So let's actually get into, like, can I actually get into combat? I mean, I've completed the game, so I don't know if there's anywhere I can go where enemies are just going to pop up randomly. There we go. All right, so we've got, we got, uh, we got some dudes spawning here, so let's see what we can do. So unlimited Atreus arrows, let's turn that on. Resources don't decrease, uh, I guess. We'll go ahead and put that on as well. Unlimited health on. Use cell to gain resources. Not sure about that. Let's see what else we have. Dragon tier. Does any of this stuff help with combat? Oh yeah, rage. Let's do infinite rage. I can set the rage. I don't know what I can set it to. Is a hundred like? Oh no, let's just set it to on. Okay, so let's see what this does. So I can activate rage. I mean, it is. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just it's just setting it in a loop so that it never runs out, which is pretty cool. So that's that's what that works pretty well. I mean, we've got infinite rage. It does look like it's going down, but it's not. You can see it's just like jumping up every time it tries to go down. It just jumps up. Same with the health. So that's how it's doing max health. The only problem with that, of course, is that it requires a constant connection because it's constantly setting memory every like half a second. Um, so if you have like a weak wireless connection, you might run into errors where it uh, it disconnects, uh, or you'll get a .NET framework error or something like that. But right now, I'm doing all th I'm doing both health and rage, and that's all working fine. Okay, so I thought because you know. Because I, when I played the, the game initially, I never completed this boss. Because I think I tried to defeat it like quite a few times and you know, I got I came so close several times but I kept dying. I got a bit too frustrated with it and thought fuck it, I'm, I'm, I finished the game anyway, I couldn't really be bothered just trying to beat this boss. So I thought now, now that I have this mod tool, I might as well finally kill this bitch. So, here we go. Just been button mashing square and RB for the past five minutes. Any second now. Ah, oh, there we go. She did. So anyway guys, as you can see, it's a pretty awesome tool, um, especially for God of War. I'm surprised how much stuff it has for God of War actually. But that is, this is just one game that it supports, it is a trainer that supports a good amount of games as you can see if I scroll up and down. You've got a good amount of games that you can try out there. So yeah, if, you've been, if, you're, just, if you're just hearing about this trainer now, and you know you've been using the community community trainer by Death RGH. This is another one that you should definitely check out because it is uh, just as good, for sure. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.